Ham Radio DX has just passed 1,000 subscribers. Yes, Ham Radio DX passed 1,000 subscribers at lunchtime today. Um, I can't believe that we've actually got to 1,000. I, I didn't even think that I'd just get a few hundred, uh, let alone 1,000. So I'm completely blown away by the support and uh, people just watching my videos and for subscribing. Um, so thank you for everybody that have done that. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe. Uh, please hit the like button on any videos that you find uh, enjoyable. Leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment on this video on what you want to see uh, in the future. I've got uh, lots of ideas, but of course, uh, it's uh, you guys, uh, the, the viewers, ultimately what you want to see. So just let me know uh, exactly in the comments what you'd like me to do uh, some videos about. So uh, on uh, this video, I'm going to uh, just do a bit of an update of what's coming to the channel. On Saturday morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time, which I think is Friday evening in the United States, I'll be uh, live streaming. Now, I'll be doing the winner of the RigPi station server, the MFJ1234. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll be announcing it now. <clears throat> Initially in the video, I said that I'd be picking the comment that I thought uh, was the best, but I think that that's probably a bit unfair. So what I'm going to be doing is using... Um, a, uh, just a random comment uh, picker. There's plenty of great comments in that uh, video. So uh, for your chance to win, if you haven't already done so, subscribe, leave a comment on that video, and uh, that will be drawn on uh, at that time, on Saturday morning or Friday evening in the United States. So you'll have to work it out for other areas. Um, you don't need to watch the live stream, of course, to uh, uh, to be able to win, but uh, watch it back later to see if you if you ended up winning that giveaway for the rig pie. Do you have HF noise at home? Well, I do. So today in the mail, I received this, the MFJ1026. The MFJ1026 Deluxe Noise Signal, uh, noise, sorry, the MFJ1026 Deluxe Noise Cancelling Signal Enhancer. Now, I haven't opened up this box. I'm going to be unboxing that and uh, doing a review on it. So I've, I've read some, I've read and I've seen some awesome reviews on this. Um, there's a, uh, an, another amateur that I know who swears by it. He says that it gets rid of all his HF noise and he lives in the city. Apparently it's, it's amazing because it just, it kills the noise, it pulls those stations out of it and you're able to uh, work the DX. So I'm excited to be reviewing that and I'll show you exactly how effective that is here uh, in my environment where I do have quite a bit of noise, especially on 40 meters and 80 meters as uh, the two bands which I think I'll be concentrating on. Some of the projects that I've got um, in, that I've been working on lately, I've got a 1296 megahertz uh, amplifier which I'm mounting uh, in a uh, weatherproof enclosure. You've seen that video, it's the SG Lab. Uh, PA. It's also got a, a low noise amplifier in it. That's going to be mounted in a uh, yeah waterproof enclosure, and I'm going to be putting that up at my uh, remote site uh, to improve my 1296 station up there. Uh, in addition, I've also got a new 36 element Yagi for 1296. Now that comes from Antennas Amplifiers, uh, which is a company in Serbia. They make great antennas. Uh, they're quality antennas. They ship them internationally. And uh, I recommend that you check them out if you're looking for, uh, they do antennas for six meters, two meters, 70 centimeters. They do amplifiers, they do 1296 mega antennas. So uh, check them out. I'll put a link in the description to antennas uh, amplifiers in Serbia. And uh, I've been thinking about that, uh, that Yagi. I wanted to use it initially portable. Um, I was gonna pair it with a, a high power amplifier but now i'm looking at it and i think i might run that from my remote site and replace the other uh, shorter 1296 meg yagi that i've got up there so i might end up doing that i've also been soak testing my zactec whisper six meter transmitter so you've seen that also again in another video that i did um our uh, sporadic e season is coming up soon we've just ticked over into spring so sort of towards the end of spring going into summer is when sporadic e starts to uh, fire up here in Australia. So uh, what I've done is just been testing that on the bench, make sure that it's working, that there's no faults with it. I've done a few tweaks here and there. And uh, thanks to Harry from Zactech as well, who's been uh, kind enough to uh, give me some firmware uh, changes and some firmware updates 
to that. Um, the plan for that at the moment is, is I might be installing that in the middle of Australia in Alice Springs. Now, uh, Alice Springs is uh, a bit of a, uh, well, I'm going to be uh, providing it on loan. We're still talking about it at the moment, but we might be installing it uh, uh, and on loan to the Alice Springs Amateur Radio Club. Uh, the benefit of that will be that uh, there'll be a yeah a six meter whisper transmitter in the middle of Australia. That means that it could potentially be heard by almost anywhere in Australia. Really, maybe even further uh, afield. Uh, there isn't one permanently there. There's not a lot of operators that uh, live in Alice Springs, uh, so there's not many that we can uh, ask to set up a, a six meter uh, whisper transmitter. So. Yeah, this one might be going there. So uh, yeah, watch this space. It could be uh, quite interesting to see how that performs there. I haven't announced this before, I don't think, on a video. I am on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. So I'll put all the links in the description below. So uh, give me a follow there and uh, check those out and I'll see you soon.